Hello, I'm Michael Waters. Um, you've probably seen a few of my previous videos at one time. Um, so you probably ran into one that was comparing and contrasting the difference between a piano and an organ. In that video, I was just comparing and contra contrasting the difference. But in this video, I'm going to be getting just into just a little bit more detail of what organ technique is and talk about it. And you'll understand why it's vastly different from, from piano. So the first thing I'm going to talk about with organ technique is the bass pedals. Call it bass pedals because they are, are the bass notes, whether that be a hymn or a piece of classical music. So the question I get a lot is, what on earth do you do with these pedals? How in the world would you play them? Well, first of all, it's best to use organ shoes such as that, which has got the heel on it, so that you don't have to go so far down with the heel, which can cause injury if you're not careful. So we use what's called heel toe technique, such as, and it starts off like maybe if I start off with a toe. <laughs> which would be where you would slide from one from one pedal to, to another so that you could um, so that you could go to the heel easier on a different pedal for example all right so that's the basic idea of pedal technique now manual technique what we've got um, on what we have here is called finger substitution with finger substitution that's where you, that's, that's kind of in essence, kind of like what you do with toe substitution. So you, um, you put, um, you try to get one finger on that same key before it's time to move to the next note. So that then you, you can actually, um, you can actually move comfortably on, on the keyboard or manual, whatever you want, whatever you want to call it. And we do that again because we don't have a sustain pedal, you know, that, that allows us to kind of pick our hand up if we need to. So for example, finger substitution would be something like this. That would be the basic idea of finger substitution. Notice how I was, you know, how I had um, I'd report. I'd replace them. I'd replace the thumb with this finger before I moved on to the next note. And kind of in essence, the same thing over here, where you know I you know I place this finger over that before moving to the next note. Do that because that's the only that's the only real way that you can really keep the uh, notes connected connected right. Now the only time that, that it would be okay to disconnect the notes, maybe if you're in a, maybe if you're um, playing in a style of music that um you know that um does not require you to require you to connect connect the notes, such as maybe you might play a chord like, like you might you might actually play in that style. And in that case it would actually be okay to pick your hand up. But for the most part, like especially with hymns, you don't want to do that if if possible. So today we're gonna to take a simple hymn and, and and show how all this technique kind of is combined together. And we're going to do it as well with my soul. Now, why in the world would I do it as well with my soul? Well, because it really can be well with your soul. That's why. See, God has not, le has not left us at all. God is ready to show us his grace anytime, anywhere, just, just so long as we just have to call out, on, just have to call out on, on him. And that's why it can be well with your soul. That's why we're going to play this play, It Is Well With My Soul. Without further ado, It Is Well With My Soul.
so you notice how the technique was all the technique I just mentioned was kind of combined together if you were paying attention to both the feet and the feet and what was going on up, going on up here so that's kind of the basic idea of organ technique and remember it really can be well with your soul just 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 call out on God whenever there's you know whenever there, there's trouble God is always watching out for us so be blessed.